BMW Mini Rallycross Championship comes to Pembroke this weekend, the penultimate round of the championship, currently being led by David Bell. We've had the three qualifying heats and Drew Bellaby topping the times in each of them. David Bell second and Martin Hawkes third on points. So we're ready to go racing then as the cars take to the grid with Drew Bellaby on pole, David Bell and Martin Hawkes joining her on the front row of the grid. Row two is Bradley Durdin and Dave Ward. Former junior champion Grant Reese returning to the sport. He's on row three with Andy Hawkes and James Osborne for company. Light to go to green, we go racing, who makes the best start? It's David Bell. Drew Bellaby bogs down a little bit and that means that Martin Hawks gets around the outside as well as they go up towards Ollie's then. This section of circuit different from when they were here earlier on in the year, so it's a 90 left and then a sharp right here. Drew Bellaby out wide, losing places, losing grip and losing momentum. A good start though by Dave Ward getting up towards the front of the pack as they come towards Paddock. He's put himself third, but it is David Bell leading from Martin Hawks. There is Dave Ward next up. Through they turn now onto the tarmac. Dave Ward running third, going nicely as you might anticipate. Bradley Durdin behind. Now Bradley Durdin, third in the championship. He's had a win this year. David Bell is the championship leader. He's the race leader with the reigning champion, Martin Hawks, behind him. And Martin Hawks has been really consistent this season, but without a victory. He aims to put that right here, look, as they come across the loose section once again. Bell up front. Martin Hawks bouncing his way in second spot. These two clear of Dave Ward running in third. onto the tarmac and now they accelerate up towards Brooklyn's heading towards the left-hander. Speedway straight is a long straight in a relatively underpowered car. Lots of understeer from Dave Ward who runs out of road off the circuit and back on again. So Dave Ward running out of road but rejoins the circuit albeit somewhat delayed. Dave who is one-time circuit racer as well as rally crosser comes from toaster so heading to home soil at silverstone next time out <laughs> 31 grant reese bounces across the loose some way down the order james osborne at the back of the pack as there you see dave ward go through So David Bell is heading for a win. It's going to be for him a fourth of the season. There is Dave Ward threading his way through. Making a very welcome return to Rallycross. Good battles going on further back. There is Drew Bellaby just ahead of Andrew Hawks. And then you've got Grant Reese next up. Now Grant Reese, having returned to the sport this year is on the attack, goes up the inside. He's run this car in BTRDA events and now made it to the right spec to come into this championship. And he goes through on the inside and picks up the place. So Grant Reese going nicely. And the local hero picking his way up the order. Grant Reese, after many years on the sidelines, making a very welcome return to Rally Cross. Let's hope we see him at Silverstone and that we see him full time in the championship next year as well. Andrew Hawkes dropping back as up front. It remains David Bell on target for the race win, on target to increase the lead in the championship. So it would seem with Martin Hawkes yet again as the bridesmaid. The reigning champion has just not been able to rack up the wins this season. It's not for the want of trying. The consistency has been there. He keeps on scoring points, but what he hasn't been able to do is really start winning. And David Bell has had a great season. He's heading for win number four as he comes across the loose section here. Through they turn, through they slide. Loose to tarmac, the loose really having been swept off the road there. There's a big step though now, a big rut as you go from the loose section of the circuit towards the tarmac out of the hairpin. Bradley Durdin running third, he's just closing a bit on Martin Hawkes. Don't rule him out here, that gap's coming down a fraction. Up now towards Brooklands goes race leader David Bell, soon to become race winner David Bell by the look of it. 
Behind him there is Durdin. In third spot between the two is Martin Hawks. They're on the last lap of the race now. Into that left-hander and then on towards the loose section. So looking very strong indeed up front currently is David Bell. And barring a mistake, he's going to win this. He goes for the joker. So does Martin Hawks, who hits a big rut and gets well and truly airborne. Bradley Durdin jokers as well. And as Hawks damaged the car, he has! That big impact as Drew Bellamy goes past Bradley Durdin has cost Martin Hawks the chance of a finish. He's out on the last lap. Way off the road and back on again goes Drew Bellaby. Bradley Durdin briefly second. Now he's down to third. But Martin Hawks is a casualty on the last lap. You saw the car hit the rut. It bounced onto its nose. That has broken something and it means that Hawks will not get to the end. He will score badly. And so it's going to be a win for David Bell as he comes up towards the chequered flag. Bell wins at Pembrey. Second goes to Drew Bellaby and Bradley Durdin takes third place. The rest of the field filing through, but drama on the very last lap. Martin Hawks does not get to the end. David Bell, the winner though from Drew Bellaby and Bradley Durdin. Grant Rees fourth ahead of Dave Ward and Andy Hawks in sixth place. Take drop scores into account. David Bell leads. Bradley Durdin now going to Silverstone. Martin Hawks three points back. One round still to go.